Hey everyone, it's Ryan here with my Achievement and Game Score review for May 2022. Uh, I know we're almost a week into June. Um, yeah, mainly it's been, I've been finishing off some games and a lot of work. Uh, and yeah, uh, so I'm basically going to go through, like usual, the Achievement and Game Score event for the month. Um, so, Achievements, I've unlocked 94, I've earned 2,825 game score. Uh, the reason I keep looking up so I've got my phone up here with the details. I've started 3 games, I've played 15 and I've completed 3. So, uh, the big ones are another site, 21 achievements worth 1,000 game score, uh, the full 1,000 that one. Uh, Spongebob Truth or Square, 22 achievements worth 635 game score, I've finished off that game this month. Uh, Valentino Rossi, uh, 10 tunes for 475 game score. NBA 2K22, 3 tunes for 75 game score. I finally finished off the achievements I wanted to get in that game now, so that's been put to one side so I can actually get back into playing other games now. Uh, Minecraft, uh, 2 achievements for 40 game score. Those were the two DLC achievements they added. Well, there's four DLC achievements, I already got two of them. The other two I thought were going to take a while. Uh, the training with a villager on the top like the top block like the highest point that you can get in game that was a nightmare um and then the second one uh riding a shulk is i think it's a stalk or a shulk of one of them uh basically like this lava creature thing from the nether you have to bring it into the outworld or the overworld and basically ride it across 50 blocks of lava i did a stream of that that is on youtube uh, the first part got 128 views after like two weeks, so that was quite something. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, 7 tunes worth 130 game score, that was from finishing off my streaming of the story mode. Uh, I did get one achievement off stream, which was to visit all the graves of the people that died along the way. Uh, Call of Duty Cold War, 5 tunes worth 105 game score, mostly all in zombies. Uh, I think there may be one or two that I might go after, other than that I'm just playing it with a friend or two, just for fun, like every now and then. Uh, Rayman 3 HD, 7 achievements with a 60 game score, uh, I also did stream that, um, again the first part got a lot more views compared to the rest of them, um, but they're still doing like solid numbers, um, so again they're up on YouTube, like this video will be, um, if you want to watch them. Uh, Lengo Indiana Jones 2, 6 achievements with 115 game score. Uh, that's the game I've been sort of switching between, like between Red Dead, Rayman 3, and all that lot. Uh, Viva Pinata Party Animals, 3 achievements with a 60 game score. Uh, that became a game with gold. I realised that I was missing a few achievements that I could actually get just when I was a lot younger when I played it. Just didn't have the guides or anything to try and get them. Uh, Zoo Tycoon, it, Zoo, Zoo Tycoon, God, I couldn't say that well. Uh, one achievement worth 25 game score, uh, I believe um, I had to get an achievement in like a top 10 game or something for the month and Zoo Tycoon was one of them, so I thought I might as well just go for it. Uh, basically it was to like drive 10 kilometres, uh, so basically you just make a small park and you just essentially drive in circles for ages. Uh, Hydro Thunder Hurricane, I couldn't read it because the box art, 3 achievements worth 50 game score. Um, a friend of mine was recently playing it and I thought I would try and get back into playing it a bit. I've done the story mode, pretty much done what I needed to on it. Uh, something else I really can't be asked yet because it is a difficult game. Uh, Grid Autosport, two achievements for 25 game score. Again, sort of with Hydro Thunder, sort of like I noticed someone was playing it and I was like, oh, I'm actually missing a few on here that I can actually get. So that's what that was. Uh, Race of Sun, uh, one achievement for 20 game score. I streamed that for a bit because I originally wanted to stream the Bureau. And apparently you're not allowed to stream that, so I found Racer Sun did that 40 minutes, got an achievement during it. And then Final Fantasy X2, one achievement worth 10, 10 game score. I started um, Final Fantasy X2 because um, I've been playing 10 for so long and it's leaving games past soon, I think. So, or it's already left. Um, so I want to at least start 10 2. Uh, I've got a fair amount of achievements in that game. Uh, if it goes on like a big discount, I may consider getting it. Because 10 slash 10 2 were my first experiences with Final Fantasy. Like, I played a bit of 10 and I played the demo for 10 2, and then I jumped straight to 13. Because, um, you know, that's how it works. Uh, top achievements. Um, so, it, pretty much all of these are going to be in another site. Uh, there's a couple of actually, somewhere different as well. 
no, I said that. Uh, Scholar, unlock all the character biographies in another site, 150 game score. Traveller, 150 game score, unlock all the world uh, descriptions, also in another site. Um, Definitive Rider, worth 100 game score, reach the maximum level in all your rider's abilities. That's in Valentino Rossi, that took a lot of grinding to do that. Uh, Spongebob Happy Pants, 100 game score. You found all Spongebob's happiness objects. I'll let you take a guess what game that's in. It's in Spongebob Trick or Square. Um, turning on, worth 100 game score. As Kit, draw the attention of Guard by turning on a generator. That's also in uh, another site. Happy Squared, 100 game score. Uh, you complete the game in Spongebob Trick or Square. Uh, meow, worth 100 game score. As a cat, draw the attention of a guard by meowing in another site. Uh, world Champion, 100 game score. Become World Champion in career mode. Uh, that's also in Valentino Rossi. And then there's just a lot of 25s and 30s and 50s. So yeah, um, like biggest month for, biggest day of the month for achievements was the 15th. That's because that's when I was playing another site, essentially. Um, yeah, so uh, to recap back over it, uh, 94 achievements, 2825 game score, 3 games started, 15 games played, 3 games completed. I apologise for the stuffiness of my voice and everything. Uh, I've not been well for the past week, uh, but I basically had a really sore tooth, like not the same to do with the illness, but basically it's been really bugging me for the past few days. And then I've just had two big nosebleeds since coming back from work yesterday. I had one for like 20 minutes when I got back. And then I just had one about 45 minutes ago for like another 15 minutes. So I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, other than that, um, I do hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed any of the other videos I've put up in the past month. As for this month, I'm getting back into playing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, it's been sat on my, like, not on my shelf, on my digital shelf for a good couple of years now. I got it when I got my Xbox One S. Uh, because my original Xbox One uh, decided to die on me uh, on my birthday. So then I got that the day after. Uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order came with it, so basically that's why I got that. Um, and like I said, for streaming, I'll, I'll figure out something to stream. Uh, I don't know yet. I'll post it on Instagram like I normally do. Like if I'm going to stream something, It'll, it will be 1am UK time, not normal time, because essentially I finish work at midnight, I get that 45 minutes to sort of relax for a bit and then I'll stream for like an hour and a half, two hours depending on what it is. But again, thank you for watching this, thank you for watching my other videos, it's very muchly appreciated and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.